call a battle claw The whooshing is my guide I train and practice every day My team is by my side Chillings of metal, wood and fire Earth and water too I choose the right ones at the right time I know what to do Are you faster than the rest? Are you game to be the best? Hope you're in the mood for a sonic skitter stomping, Tai. Seriously, a sonic skitter? <laughs> Is that really the best you can do? For that. Oh, yeah, right. In a real battle, you can't exactly call a timeout. You got a point. Ember Crush! Hey, I was still trash talking. No timeouts, right? Okay, I deserve that. But you unleash the beast. My sonic skitter, that is. Get him! Seeing triple. Uh, whoa. I have never seen any beast like that before. This creature seems familiar to me. Yeah! Wow. We've got to stop that thing. W with what? didn't it attack? Mm. Seems like it just wanted to get our attention. Well, it definitely got mine. Let's follow this creature. I have a strange feeling about this. Right. Huh. <laughs> Whoa. It's kind of quiet here. Too quiet. Something is weird here. Mm -hmm. huh? Another mutant beast. He's going to eat those guys.
the assist there, dude. But we gotta go! <laughs> this place is cursed or something! Wait, hold on! What do you mean by cursed? The monstery kind of curse. Who are you? I'm Tia. Out there, deep in the woods, is my uncle's laboratory. He's a scientist. He's doing experiments with Jinlins and beasts, which unfortunately has been turning them into monsters. Is your uncle Dr. Moro? Uh, yeah. Huh? Master, huh? do you know him? And how is the old doctor? Not well. I was his assistant. We were trying to do something positive for humanity. Oh, he sounds like a super nice guy. Yes, he was, until he became completely obsessed. All he could think about was getting revenge on an old enemy. He was consumed, so I quit. Pretty soon, the people in town were complaining about his beasts, so he sent his beasts to frighten them away. No wonder it's deserted here. My uncle is just... Well, he just won't listen. I... I don't know what to do any longer. Is your uncle working in his lab right now? I think it's time that I paid him a visit. Okay. Huh? Oh. Dr. Moro? I am a cautious man. I have to make sure my lab is always secured against intruders. It's certainly been a while, hasn't it? How do you know each other? You see, we used to play in the same Battleclaw League. We faced each other in the final match. Though it was a match we were never able to complete. It appears we have other guests. Uh, it's Joju! A Jinlin? I've never seen one quite like that one before. Go! Bring it here! Whatever it is! research to find a way to defeat you, and finally, my experiments had paid off. Today, I will defeat you. Interesting how a small genetic tweak can turn normal genes into unstoppable mutant beasts. What's that? <laughs> Attack! <laughs> of course, genetically altering Jinland is against the basic rules of Battleclaw. It's ultimately cheating according to them. And somehow, they found me out. I was expelled from the League. 
banished forever. <laughs> it was you who told them what I had done. I know it was you. You're wrong. I said nothing to anyone. Your trickery was obvious to all. Well, for me, being banished from the League in that way was like draining the life out of me. I know that I could have been a champion if I was given a chance. After that, I lost everything. I was consumed with anger. All I could think about was revenge. I kept experimenting with jinlins and beasts, creating more powerful creatures. The desire for revenge drove me on. In the end, it took its toll. <gasps> your anger was sorely misplaced. I was never your enemy. The true enemy you battled was no one but yourself. You are right. You are right, and I was wrong. This grudge, all the hatred, and the endless experiments completely consumed me and eroded my health. I had to stop my experiments, and soon my desire for vengeance faded. And my poor sweet niece, it was all she could do to take care of the frail, foolish old man that I had become. She was an angel. <coughs> You've got a funny way of stopping. By attacking our dojo like that. Attack your what? No, I didn't do any such thing. But I did. Huh? giving you what you've always wanted. For years, I've watched you work for one purpose. To obtain your revenge. Revenge against the one who stole Battleclaw glory from you. But he had to give all that up. His health was failing. He became weak, unable to focus. I could not bear to watch it. So I took up his work, continued his experiments, and I vowed to exact revenge on the enemy that took everything away from this great, great man. Only then will my uncle be happy and healthy again. <laughs> no, Tia. That's not the way to find happiness. But it ruined you. So, we need to get a little payback. Attack! My pet! It's time to stop all this! Still no concept of how great my uncle's work really is. <laughs>
open your eyes and see what power is! can stop me. Think again. You caused my uncle a lot of grief. This is payback for all of that. We gotta stop her. Attack! <laughs> uncle, what are you doing? Don't you understand? This is what you've wanted for all those years. No. This is not what I wanted. But you... All these years, consumed by anger, it poisoned my heart. And now it has poisoned yours as well. You must let all of this go and live your own life. But uncle, I... Please, Tia. No more. Recall your beasts. Yes, uncle. going uh. Tia come now child stop this nonsense No but uh, I did nothing They're not following my commands Your anger and insatiable need for vengeance has seeped into the core of these beasts so they are fueled by your rage unwilling to stop Together. Huh? Okay. Home wreckers. Howling fire. Well, talk about the cold shoulder. Maybe it takes a mutant to stop a mutant? Tia?
nothing left to do now but clean up this mess. <laughs> At least I have an old friend to help me. Uncle, I haven't seen a smile on your face in forever. Wow. <laughs> What's next for you, Dr. Morrow? That is a very good question. Hmm. Maybe time to resume my experiments. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Not experiments with Jin Lins. Perhaps I could do something else instead. Such as use my scientific knowledge to do good things to make up for all the wrong that I have done. I suggest you practice forgiveness. Ah, my dear friend, you never did me any wrong. I forgave you many, many years ago. No. That's not what I mean. Forgive the one most in need of forgiveness. Yourself. Hmm. Yes. I'll work on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>